the topic today is the the artwork, the paintings and uh, and sculpture of the two dancing skeletons, which are commonly found in murals and and, and paintings. Uh, not always as central figures, but uh, very often as secondary figures. And they can be found in art belonging to the Gelug, Kagyu, Nyingma, and Sakya traditions, and Jonam. The, the, the skeletons are talked about quite a bit also in dance, and they're depicted in uh, cemetery scenes, in the uh, wrathful offering paintings or mural paintings in protector chapels of uh, monasteries in the Himalayas, Tibet, and Mongolia. So, what I'd like to do is just clarify this a little bit. Not all dancing skeletons are the same. Meaning, when they're depicted in cemeteries with other charnel ground scenes, that's the meaning. They're just random skeletons because skeletons exist in charnel grounds. In dance, they have a different meaning again. And they're relating to the main focus, the main subject of the dance, be it a black hat dance, be it a, a particular protector deity dance. Here, the skeletons are just representing random secondary figures. Now, the main art that we find, the two dancing skeletons that appear in uh, scroll work paintings, murals, and sculpture, these are not the same as the skeletons in the cemeteries or the skeletons from the Cham dances. The two skeletons that we find in, in art as primary figures and then secondary figures uh, within a, a meditational deity uh, context, these are actually deities and they're actually wisdom deities. Uh, in Sanskrit, they're called Shri Shmashana Adipati, meaning the glorious uh, lords of the cemetery or charnel ground. In Tibetan, they're called Pel Durtro Gidakpo Yabyum, the mother and father glorious uh, cemetery lords. Now, we do have another word that is very popular, has been popular in the West for uh, for at least uh, 60, 70 years, and that word is Chittipati. Chittipati is, again, Sanskrit. Chit means a mound or a pile. Uh, pati here means a kind of lord, so lord of the pile, lord of the funeral pile or the funeral mound. I have not found this word, Sanskrit word, Chittipati, in any traditional Tibetan, any Tibetan texts uh, prior to really the late 18th, early 19th century. And it appears that this new word, Chittipati, is really coming about at the time of uh, Chankya Rolpe Dorje and the fourth pension lama, the fourth pension lama using the Gundan Podrang system of enumeration. So, the meditational deities of, uh, of Sri Shmashna Adipati, the ones we see in art, they are actually a wisdom deity and related to the Chakrasamvara cycle of Tantras. And specifically, they can be used as a, a wealth deity or wealth protection deity, or when employed with the Vajra Yogini practices, then they become a special protector for those engaged in the Vajra Yogini practices of the Mahasiddha Naropa. So this is just a little introduction into the many uh, different types of skeletons you see. They're not all the same. One is a wisdom deity. Others are merely decoration for dance or for murals. Uh, and this is an important distinction to make. Thank you.